Janice informed me, right before last, I think, or maybe if I can't think of anything good to say about it, y'all will look for it. I don't think Brother Eddie would mind me sharing this. I mean, he shared it with everybody before himself. But you know, growing up in a house with a pastor or a father, um, he pretty much made up his mind that he never wanted to be a preacher. Yeah, still, still you know, God got a hold of him at an early age. When, you know, of course, he's, he served uh, as pastor and associate pastor and uh, several other positions in churches over the years. And uh, I think, uh, uh, of course, many of us know him and have known him for many years. And I think in the back of our minds, we all felt like that one day. Um, it's strange, you know, that God works in mysterious ways. Um, I, <coughs> I have to, you know, Jerry brought up something earlier to me about he was down at the expo this week from Brother Eddie down there. He met a friend of his and he introduced him as his buddy and his pastor. The guy said, wait, you can't be both. Well, that's, that's the way many of us feel about it. You know, he's, he's not only our pastor, he's our friend and buddy. But uh, the reason I say he reminds me a lot of Jonah, you know, like I said, he decided he was never going to be a preacher. And even though he served in several capacities along the way and, and uh, served churches for many years uh, before he got here, I thank God threw him in the belly of the beast. A lot of that, I think, was not only character building for him, but it was for the people that he came in contact with every day. He's been diligent in visiting, in preaching God's word, and in looking after his flock here at the Baptist Church. He's been taking good care of God's flock here at the Baptist Church. And he's definitely been bringing God's word to us. Uh, we just pray that he'll be able to continue that for many years to come. But I want to tell you all a little something. Uh, Jeff in our Sunday school class this morning. He comes up with a lot of good information. This morning he just he brought out the fact we talked about the Bible and how the Bible all had to come together. A lot of people had to come together over a fifteen hundred year period to write the Bible. And he brought up something about a boss and being taught. And you think about that, you know, when you go to work somewhere and you have a boss walk in the door, do you expect to see the boss out there turning every wrench, doing everything on the, at, at that job, whatever it may be? Do you expect him to be ringing up the stuff at the cash register or whatever your job is? Do you expect to have your boss right there doing it all and you standing there like you're just watching it? Well, a lot of times I feel like that's what I do. I'm standing there watching my preacher get out and get this and do the things. I should be doing You know, most pastors, they can allot so much time to every individual. But I think I've been way over a lot of good times. Uh, many times I've been in hospitals in the middle of the night. I'm standing there looking up. I felt like Jesus was standing there looking up. I mean, you know. He sent this man to be there and comfort me in my time of need. And he can't do it all. We've got to help it. I mean, as many times as he's been to visit other folks in the hospital, sick people and things around the community, uh, he can only keep up so long. And uh, I know that that man is really proud of his family, his wife, his boys, his grandson, his granddaughter to be. And uh, 
I just want to thank Diane and Greg. Uh, without her help, love, and support, we wouldn't have the pastor that we have now. And, uh, I'd like to thank Miss Julie and Miss Evelyn, even though she's not here, I don't think. But I'd like to thank them for raising God's and children. Uh, without them, we wouldn't have our pastor and get by. And this man's got a truck that's about uh, a tenth as old as mine is. And he's got about half a mile as mine has. And his body's probably about the same way. He's got a body that's about half my age, and his miles are way up there. <laughs> so today I'm going to present him with something that I think he really needs. I think he's most likely an elderly person. I would just first like to say we appreciate you and, and your family and your wife that's coming out of church and it was just an amazing thing how this all transpired for you to be here and we're so grateful for you. <clears throat> when Janice asked me to say something, she told me not to talk long, so I'm trying to make it short and sweet. <laughs> this is fine, because really, we want to thank you. But uh, one thing she wanted me to mention was this, that you that we have prayer services for the love class on Wednesday mornings. Now, anybody can come, but we meet here at 1030, and uh, maybe once a month we'll meet somewhere else to eat lunch. But a couple of things it's done. It gives us the time to really get to know each other as, as, as people, not just as a pastor and as, and as congregation, but really it gives us a chance to ask him questions and discuss things that maybe we need, that we would like to know more about. We don't have a lot of people here, but if you want to come in and be here at 1030 on, on Wednesday mornings, it's just a special blessing to all of us. We want to thank you for that. Even though you didn't start it, you continued it. And... Uh, that makes him have to work twice as hard on Wednesdays because he's got to prepare for us as well as the Wednesday night, you know, prayer meeting. So we really do appreciate that. And it gives us a chance to fellowship with each other. A lot of times we'll go out and eat lunch with each other. And that means a lot to, to us to build these friendships and to build these connections. So we really do appreciate that. And one other thing, and I don't know if I've told you this, but this is the way I felt since you come, that you have preached us love sermons. From the very beginning and that you have loved on us and let us know that and we've had good pastors in the past and a lot of them we've loved and they've loved us back but i think you um you put it into words more often of how much you love this congregation and that's what we feel from you and you know what it's just a wonderful thing to be in a place where you feel like you are loved and wanted and the place that you need to be. Some say it may be destiny that you were in our, be our pastor now, but whatever, we're just so proud that you're our pastor. Thank you very much. I fell in for Brother Blake this morning. He's out first responding for the Power Commission, and I know he got really scared at my house last night, and um, got me to thinking about that and how important that is and uh, uh, I got to thinking you know brother Eddie's our first responder you thought you were out of first responding business didn't you <laughs> and he's trying to get us to be first responders and I'm talking to myself more than anybody here is that he's just trying to get us to go out and share Jesus with a lost and dying world, just to have that sense of urgency. Um, like it kind of like last night, if something will shake you down to the core, like you could just lose everything, just like that. And uh, just to get that sense of urgency where we will say something to folks that, that need Jesus when we get opportunity. But um, on behalf of the church, uh, we love you and, and we. we Thank God for you and your family, and I just want to present a small token to you, Miss Diane, for your uh, and, and great love and appreciation for what you're doing.
y'all got to stop doing this. You know, Miss Betty said that she felt that I, I love this congregation. I do. And I tell you that often. And there's a reason I tell you that. It's because it comes from my heart. But let me tell you something. I get more out of being here than you do. Because y'all have loved me and my family like no other church in the And folks, uh, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And we're going to work together you know, for as long as the Lord is going to allow us to work together. Yeah. I hope that's a long time. I do. Uh, but as long as the Lord will allow it, we're going to work together. And we're going to do what He wants done in this place. And I just appreciate you so much and thank you so much from the bottom of my heart.